what is IPR? Hello doctors, welcome back. In this video, I am going to explain about interproximal reduction. Normal questions emerges in dentist mind when they hear of IPR is Is it safe? Doesn't it cause tooth sensitivity or caries? The procedure carried out in proper method will assist in achievement of treatment objectives without compromising health of the teeth and periodontal tissue. Basically what is IPR? Interproximal reduction is process of removing enamel for gaining space for tooth alignment. It is known in various other names such as interproximal slicing, enameloplasty, IPR, etc. Indications are black triangle, arch discrepancies and mild to moderate crowding of less than 6 mm. And contraindications are overlapped or rotated teeth, microdontia, poor oral hygiene and certain anomalies like enamel hypoplasia. Okay, now how do we perform IPR? First, choose your tool. There are numerous interproximal reduction burrs, strips and discs available in market. We prefer Strauss IPR burr for stripping 0.3 mm or more and uh, strips for less than 0.3 mm. The process is just run the burrs or strip all the way through the contact point and make sure there is no contact point left after interproximal reduction. Use IPR gauge for ensure you have performed enough reduction by passing appropriate gauge between the spaces you have created. After creating enough spaces, you need to contour the interproximal area to regain the anatomy of the teeth and smoothening the stripped surface is mandatory unless there is high chance of debris or plaque accumulation and leads to caries. Things to take care of while doing IPR should not use more abrasive burrs or strips which will lead to scarring and should not remove excess enamel which will lead to tooth sensitivity. The average thickness of enamel is 1 mm. Care should be taken not to remove half the thickness of enamel. Topical fluoride application is an add-on to prevent tooth caries. The baseline is proper method and smoothening the stripped surface is mandatory to maintain the dental health and periodontal health. See you in next video. Till then, bye.